Happy month of June, Libra. Happy month of June. This is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of June. And let me tell you, this is going to be a very social month, a month full filled with all sorts of social uh, activities, social events, and a money-making month, okay? So your ruler, Venus, ruler, your Venus ruler is going to be entering into your house of friendships and you are going to be surrounded by all kinds of wonderful friendships and things happening. But I have to say that the first thing that's going to be on the agenda for you is Jupiter, the planet Jupiter. Jupiter, the planet of abundance, prosperity, goodwill, good luck, conjuncting the North Node. The North Node is a spiritual aspect, spiritual destination in your chart. And guess where it is landing? It is landing in your house of finances. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What does that mean? Well, when you combine Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, in your house of finances, what's a, what can that mean? It can mean more financial opportunities, financial increase, greater financial opportunities coming your way. Looking for ways to take the dollar that you have and make it into more much more because jupiter is going to open the door for that and allow very prosperous things to happen yes so i have four decks of tarot cards and i am going to see what the message is for you this month the first message is let your fears dissolve let your fears dissolve okay what are your fears do you have any fears libra what is it that you know you're afraid of something happening is it afraid that you're, uh, are you afraid of being alone? Are you afraid of losing your job? Are you afraid of having problems in your, uh, you know, your friendships? Are you afraid of a secret being released? Because this is a full moon in this card. Full moons, we're definitely going to have a full moon on the third. And we're going to talk about that like right now because full moons bring revelations. It brings hidden situations to the surface. Now, this is very meaningful. And why is it meaningful? Because the full moon will be in your house of communications. Oh, yes. What can that mean from you? That means that somebody's going to tell you a secret. You're going to overhear a secret. Information that you've been looking for is going to fall in your lap. Somebody's going to come to you and start talking and you're going to get the, you're going to get a revelation of what their intentions are. There's going to be enlightenment, revelation, secrets being uncovered, or having conversations with someone who knows a little bit more about a certain subject that you're looking for. And they're going to enlighten you on some sort of information that you wanted to know. And you finally get the information coming your way yay but uh but this card is saying let your fears dissolve so whatever it is you got to turn your back on it and have fear and have and don't let fear do not have fear do not have fearfulness ruin your month let it go whatever it is and let me just say this to you if something needs to be revealed let it go and face it with courage okay yes face it with courage all right so i have the second deck of cards let's see what the second deck the second message for you is the second message and that second message is the ten of cups well that is a very happy card the kid, Ten of Cups, anytime you talk about cups, you're talking about fulfillment. The cups are full. People are happy. This is a very happy card. This is interesting. Why is this interesting? Because Venus, your ruler, as I mentioned it at the top, is in your house of socializing. So this can be an event, a party, a wedding, some sort of like, uh, um, uh, you know, gathering that is very happy. It can be a family reunion. It is a time of fun, a lot of socializing, networking, mingling you know chatting you know oh uh, just being spending time with friends and loved ones and also romance hmm, does we know that your ruler libra your ruler just loves romance but it's a very social you know social planet attraction you can attract romance into your life if you do not have romance right now or if you want to have a social gathering if you're planning something this month the fifth is a really good time for it to happen because venus is going to activate your social 
um, section, the social section of your chart, and you're going to have, it's going to be a fun, fun, fun event. So think about something around the 5th if you are thinking about having some kind of social activities, inviting friends by, or going maybe to visit a friend. Who knows? You may want to go visit some friends or visit a group of friends or invite some people out to dinner to celebrate something. Wonderful, wonderful time. Yay. All right. I just want to say to you that this is going to be a very, very, very active month for you. And one of the things that you're going to actively do is that you're going to be moving stuff around, transforming things regarding your home situation. Okay. What is going on in your home? Pluto, the planet of change and rebirth is going retrograde, which means there is some family issues, some home situations, some living situations that need, that have not been resolved, that needs to be resolved. More energy needs to be taken to resolving some sort of living situation, family situation, relationship situation, you know, that, that is happening in your home. So you're going to be spending some time reevaluating what to do and coming up with the answers. And the reason why you're going to come up with the answers is because Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be entering into the house, your mental sector. Oh boy, the answers that you've been wanting for, they come. It's like you just start brainstorming and stuff and the answers arrive. Things start coming to you. It's like, oh, you begin, you'd be able to put two and two together and get the solution that you need. This is going to be a great time. So I have the third deck of cards. Let's see what the third message for you is. The third message for you, Libra, is... Patience. Okay, patience. What does that mean? That means patience. That means something, as you can see, the card, the woman is giving birth. You something that you're about to give birth to, but you're going to have to be patient. You cannot rush certain things. You cannot rush certain things. There are some things that need time to happen. What is it that you are trying to give birth to in your life? Is it a new job, a new relationship, a new living situation? some a creative project maybe you are you are revamping your appearance and you are exercising and toning down that is going to take some patience and it's going to uh give you a chance to 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 to, to really see what steps really needs to be taken to make it stabilized and make it work okay um so the the interesting thing is that Saturn, the planet of karma, the planet of discipline, the planet of hard work is going to be hitting your work sector, but it is retrograde. It's been in the work sector, but it's retrograde. So what does that mean? Okay, you got to take a real good look at what is going on on your job. Do you need to be there? Are these people bogging you down with too much work and you're not getting paid appropriately for it? Are you working for a taskmaster? Because Saturn, it, it, the name of Saturn, one of the names is the taskmaster planet. <laughs> Are you working for a taskmaster? Do you feel bogged down, restricted in your work and you can't stand it? Is this causing some health issues for you like stress, overstress? Stress can kill. Are you in a stressful situation and you need to find a way out of it? The planet Saturn is going to allow you to reevaluate your situation at work, situation that's causing you stress in your health, and allow you to reevaluate and take some better steps for the future. Better steps for the future. Okay, I have the fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's just see what message this fourth deck of tarot cards has. And the message is specialness. Oh, that's beautiful. Specialness. So let's get some more information on what kind of specialness might be highlighted for you. Are you just a special person? Is What's special about you? What's special about your talents? Let's see what the information is. Oh, specialness. Oh, you're such a sweet person. Somebody thinks you're sweet and they're going to show you some sweetness. Yes. Specialness can be in your love relationship, in your friendships, in your partnerships. Somebody can show you, be a really affectionate, or go out of their way to let you know that you are very, very special. So this is going to be a great, great time for you. And let's see if there's another. Oh, celebrations. What are you celebrating? You got some celebration cards. Is there some kind of special event? Or maybe someone feels that you are special and they do something really nice for you create a special event around you well i am just going to tell you that on the uh, 18th there is going to be a new moon 
there is going to be new moon in your house of adventure. Maybe you may want to take a trip. Maybe you may want to reconnect with somebody. There's, there's adventure with friends here. You may want to do something different, step out of your comfort zone and go to a place you've never been before. Or maybe you want to talk to a group of people you've never spoken to before and socialize and network and see what else is going on in somebody else's life. This can be a very, very uh, a great time for you, especially when it comes to social events and doing something different and letting your fears dissolve. So if you have fears of meeting new people, this can be the new moon directs you to have no fear, to have some adventure. Yes, yes. All right. So on the 21st, happy first day of summer. The day of summer, uh, the season of summer arrives on the 21st. And guess where this sun lands? Boom! Boom, Libra, it lands in your house of career. And the sun, as sun as we know, is brings growth, prosperity, abundance, recognition. You know, you might get a promotion. There's going to be some new career opportunity opening for you, which is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And also on the 26th, Mercury, the planet of communication, joins the sun. Who it is all good. You got some great networking possibilities, some great socializing possibilities, some social events around your job and career that you definitely should go to. Or, or maybe you start socializing with some coworkers and they start informing you and letting you know what the heck has been going on on the job behind your back. So Libra, this is a, it's a great month to do some socializing and to do some, um, some connecting with others and to grow that money. If you'd like to have a more detailed reading, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. KimAllen.com and let me take a look at your chart and see what is happening for you.